Well, getting a new pet is like bringing home a new family member. There are key milestones throughout a puppy and kitten's first year. Here to share some helpful tips and advice is veterinarian Dr. Callie Harris, along with author and television personality Hannah Brown. Welcome to you both. Thank you for having us. Dr. Callie, what should new pet parents know about the first year of a puppy or kitten's life? Yeah, so the first year of a puppy or kitten's life, it's a busy one. And not just physically, but also mentally. There's going to be a lot of exciting moments that take place and key milestones in behavioral development and nutrition that we need to celebrate. What I really want my pet parents to know though is that now is the time to set that foundation for a healthy future for their new pet. Hannah, tell us a little bit about your puppy, Wally. Yes, I am a new pet parent myself uh, to my Australian Labradoodle named Wally. He's eight months old, so he is still a puppy and gets into anything and everything, but it's been such a blessing just to watch him grow and learn. But as much as it's been a blessing, it has also been an adjustment for sure. And it can be difficult to figure out exactly what I can do to best set him up for a healthy, strong life. Uh, but that's when I turned to experts like Dr. Callie and um, found that the best food that I could feed him uh, would be Purina Pet Pro Plan Puppy because it has all those essential nutrients that he needs right now as he's continuing to develop every day. Dr. Callie, what important nutritional milestones and facts should new pet parents be aware of? Yeah, so Hannah is already on top of this with Wally, but many pet parents don't realize that their dogs or cats are actually still puppies and kittens up to a year of age, sometimes longer depending on the breed. So you want to make sure that you're feeding them the appropriate food that's going to fit their life stage. So for example, Wally is already eating Purina Pro Plan Puppy that's going to have different levels of that high quality protein to help support his growing muscle or minerals like calcium and phosphorus to help support support bone and teeth development, even having the right antioxidants in there to help prime that immune system, and even adding in just the palatability is gonna be helpful and supportive for these guys. Hannah, what has been the most helpful thing you have learned with a new puppy in the house? Really just leaning and learning on experts like Dr. Callie has been really helpful for me, um, especially with those key milestones in a puppy and kitten's life. And that's not only just nutrition, but also behaviorally. Um, Early socialization has been really important for Wally because um, when we have new people come into our home or we're on a walk and he meets different animals, I don't want him to be overwhelmed or have any anxiety, but really be able to have fun and be okay in any experience we may have. And that definitely takes a lot of training. And Dr. Kelly, is it necessary for new pet parents to have a feeding routine for their puppy or kitten? Absolutely, I strongly encourage it because not only is it going to set them up to receive the appropriate daily caloric requirement for them during especially that, uh, that stage of their growth and development, but it's also gonna provide some opportunities for enhancement of training and behavioral modification too. Purina has wonderful resources on their website, so you can visit purina.com slash healthy dash start for all the information you may need on key milestones as well as puppy and kitten formulas. We'll give your four-legged friend a head start to a lifetime of health by visiting purina.com slash healthy dash start.